I'll take care of it. Hey, you. Glad we finally get a chance to talk, one-on-one, -on -one, away from the rest of the rabble. I can hear you, Tane. I'm right here. It's good that we're on the same page with all of this. You know, wow, and his great big body. I just knew we'd get along like slippers and robes, you and me. Between the two of us, I did a little exploring of my own before you showed up. You haven't been to the collections yet, have you? It's just down that way. You'll hate it. <laughs> There's a bunch of different people trapped in there. Lots of kith in some kind of stupor. I think they've been here a long time. What gives you the impression that this place operates on reason? The prisoners, it's like this place tore out everything that made them them and left a bunch of statues behind. Except statues don't usually shamble around and cry. Take this. It's a spell that should wake the prisoners up again. Just make sure you read it somewhere, they'll all hear it. Amazing, right? <laughs> okay, you got me. I took the words from my chaotic orb and moved a few runes and accents around. Instead of dealing mayhem and fun, the spell blasts people with memories. Perfectly safe. Head west out of this fine antechamber and the collections are right down the stairs. Can't miss it. Maybe they knew too much? Rare information seems to be the currency of this place. I'd suggest that you ask one of the prisoners, but uh, they aren't very talkative. <laughs> Let me try and put it in terms we both understand. This place has a way of unplugging people's heads and letting the memory stuff drain out. All that stuff kind of blends together. The memory of someone's first kiss gets stuck to the memory of the price of hagfish. My spell gathers the memory stuff into kith-sized chunks and stuffs them back into people's heads. No one leaves with the same memories they came in with, but at least everyone gets an equal slice. Those people deserve to remember their stories, their lives, but at such a cost. This sound right to you, Watcher? Shouldn't we be guiding these poor souls towards the light? This plan is flawless. Nothing disastrous could result from injecting a town's worth of kith with fractured, blended souls. Uh, sorry if I got a little technical there. I hope you can do some good down there. I hate to see so many people without a single good idea between them, you know? Like the deer would. If there was a day in Wizard College when they talked about god bodies, I might have slept through it. Based on what we've seen, I'd say Maura used this place to nail down her tentacle spells. Lucky her, there's tons of inspiration here. What? The prospect of sending a mountain of eyes and tentacles to wrestle Aethys isn't enticing enough for you? Wouldn't it be boring to let a body like that molder and rot? I think we can do better. I think Aora deserves better. Even if it knocks over a castle or two, I think the fun will justify the cost. My father donated to all the best colleges. I earned a couple of free degrees until I found something I was actually good at. I owe a lot to my father, including an apology. He always said he wanted an archmage in the family. Kind of backfired when I dropped the surname. It's just Tane now. Hi. Thank you. Wait, that was a compliment, right? I know I don't fit in with the rest of those book learners, but I've got it where it counts. Thinking is a big waste of time when you've got raw, unvarnished instinct on your side. If I worried about research, safety, or ethics, I never would have cast the first chaotic orb. 
You do know about my chaotic orb, right? That's my spell. It was really popular when I got it into circulation. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Sometimes I forget about the folks in the more routine lines of work. I worked really hard on that orb. First time I ever applied myself. Once wizards started using it all over the world, there was all this talk and fanfare. Have you seen this thing? Look at it go! Those were good times. These days, no one asks if I'm that tame anymore. They don't tell you in wizard college that achievement can seem downright underwhelming. Sitzel plays it coy, acts like he doesn't need friends. Can you keep a secret? We've been pen pals for years. He thinks I'm an Orlin who makes clocks. 